What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you my thoughts on the Dragon Age series after reviewing each and every game in that series, that is to say Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, and Dragon Age Inquisition, so the mainline titles. Now this started as I reviewed Inquisition and then I just kind of went back to the other two on user suggestions. So to start this out, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who uh, watched all of the reviews, they did pretty well across the board, and people were actually really cool about uh, me reviewing all of these. So I decided to make a bit of a wrap-up video here talking about, again, just kind of my key takeaways from the series as a whole. If you want my thoughts on the individual games, those reviews exist. So first and foremost, the lore of the Dragon Age universe is awesome. I really enjoy the lore. Now, I will say there's a lot of out-of-game stuff to know about the Dragon Age lore, and while I am going to go over some of my favorite bits of it, I did want to mention that in my Dragon Age Origins review, I talked about how I don't find any redeeming qualities in Loghain, and that people try to kind of make it out like he did the right thing by abandoning the battle at Ostagar. Now, a lot of that is predicated on the information that comes from a novel that kind of explains Loghain's reasoning and how he thinks Caelan is going Going to hand over the country to the Orlesians after he fought his life freeing Ferelden from Orle. And while that is relevant information to Loghain's character, and I think that does kind of put the entire situation into a bit more context, simultaneously, I don't take back anything I said in that review about Loghain, because the way it's portrayed in the game is not that at all. He just outright betrays Caelan, and then there's people trying to act like he did the right thing by being arguably a worse villain and causing more damage than the actual blight, and he really just used the opportunity to try to seize power. That's how it's presented in games, so because of that, my feelings on Loghain remain unchanged, though, again, context from that novel does help a lot, but that's not an in-game source, which can lead to problems with expressing your lore in the video game that you're making. Now, on that subject, though, the lore of the Dragon Age series, like I said, is some of my favorite. I did want to mention a couple of bits and pieces of the lore that I really enjoy. For starters, the interplay between mages and demons. So in general, mages are feared because of course they can, you know, use magic, which is inherently dangerous, but the connection to the Fade, which gives them access to their magic, or the dream world if you will, also opens them up to potential demonic possession, because demons can contact them through their connection to the Fade, and it's very easy for a mage to slip up and get possessed by a demon, ultimately in exchange for power, and then this turns them into an abomination which can do all sorts of horrible demonic sorts of things that aren't good for anybody. And thus the circle and the chantry and stuff were all kind of set up around dealing with these mages in an effective way that doesn't lead to abominations. But then the game takes that even one step farther by explaining that, yeah, there's obviously Templars that are abusing this position of power as keepers of mages, and we see that play out over the course of the games. And they really kind of dive into the intricacies of that relationship. And I really enjoyed that bit a lot. I thought that was really cool. And then my other favorite bit of lore from the Dragon Age series is the Wardens and the Darkspawn. Everything from the lore of how the Darkspawn were made and became a thing, to the Wardens having to create this ritual, the joining that we see in Origins, to basically protect the world from the Darkspawn as sort of a last line of defense. And that's just a really cool mix of like medieval style fantasy that I'm just really into and I thought it was well done. Now beyond that though, the series across the board, in my opinion, tends to struggle in its execution. Now, I am well aware that some of that is due to EA as a publisher and rushing these games out the door. We saw that especially with Dragon Age 2, though I hear it went on just kind of across the series, but it's very apparent in Dragon Age 2. But basically what I mean here is that every single game in the Dragon Age series, in my opinion, has major flaws. And while it's easy to be like, oh, this is my favorite one, each of these games has pretty big flaws. Again, you can watch my reviews if you want my full thoughts on that, but the entire series feels like a franchise kind of struggling to find its identity in some ways because you go from Dragon Age Origins, which is like this hardcore RPG, to Dragon Age 2, which is a much shorter, kind of more personal story-focused RPG with kind of hack-and-slash elements, and then you go to Inquisition, which is a longer RPG but also blends elements of Dragon Age 2's faster-paced combat. And in some ways it just feels like the series has been struggling to find the game medium with which it wants to tell its story. Which is why I mentioned in another video I made recently about upcoming games I was excited for, and I mentioned Dragon Age 4, because I think Dragon Age 4, when it gets here, is really the opportunity, hopefully the franchise, to finally hit it out of the park. Because honestly, given Bioware's uh, recent failures with, say, Anthem, 
and some other releases, but most notably Anthem, in my opinion. If Dragon Age 4 comes out and it is a flawed game like the rest of the games in the series have, combined with their other failures, I think is going to put Bioware in a tough spot, just period even more so than they clearly are already in. And for the future of this series, I really want to see them just nail Dragon Age 4. Now my concern with just that thought alone though is that I think nailing Dragon Age 4 means different things to different people, and just that hurdle alone can be very difficult to overcome. Because what I can tell you from playing all of these games across the series is that and honestly just from watching the comments and things rack up, is that everyone has a kind of different favorite game when it comes to the Dragon Age series. And while I do believe the bulk of online commenters will tell you that it's Origins, and especially on this channel, which primarily focuses on CRPGs, people are really into Origins here. So I'm fully aware of that as I speak these words. But I can tell you from reading these comments, Dragon Age Origins is not everybody's favorite Dragon Age game. Some people really love 2 for its more personal story. Some people really love Inquisition for its characters and its story. And I think the biggest hurdle Dragon Age 4 has to overcome is honestly just trying to find a middle ground that's going to please enough people for it to do well. Honestly, I think that's going to be a really tough needle for Bioware to thread. Because I could sit here and list out what I think would make Dragon Age 4 amazing, but I I could almost guarantee you that's not what somebody else who is a fan of the series would agree with. And just that alone is kind of built on the back of the fact that all three Dragon Age games are very different games, which just kind of lends back to what I was saying of the series kind of struggling to find its identity. So that's kind of my thoughts on the series as a whole, and I did want to mention right here at the end, I've kind of avoided doing this for all three of my reviews, but I've said multiple times throughout uh, my reviews and a couple other videos that everybody's got their favorite Dragon Age game. And while I do think all three of the games do have their flaws, like I mentioned, and while I don't think any of the games are genuinely terrible, though some people have very strong opinions about each one, I genuinely don't think any of them are bad games. I can see why people enjoy each and every one of them. But that said, my personal favorites would be at the top of the list, Dragon Age Inquisition, Dragon Age Origins, and my least favorite would be Dragon Age 2. So, there you go guys. My thoughts on the Dragon Age series just kind of quickly wrapped up here. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.